My name's Karen. On my lap, in my hand, is a 300-year-old violin. It's a Bernard Wiedenhofner. And the reason we're talking about instruments is because there are various ones. There's the acoustic, you've got an electric, and you've got a semi-acoustic, which is the one that we play, or I play with, um, in Joe Narcos. The reason we have them is for different applications. This is more an orchestral instrument. You'll see it in symphony orchestras. You'll also see it in Celtic music. And the sounds are quite different. Then you have a semi-acoustic setup. And this is made by Paul Davis. It's a spur violin. As you can see, there's a lead. There's also, at the back here, you can lift up that plate, and inside you'll see the sound post, which holds up the inside of the violin here. And wrapped around that is the actual pickup. Um, and I use a different bow with that. It's actually the same bow as Jean Ponti uses. It's a spiccato bow. Um, it's quite an interesting one. It's carbon fibre. And um, you can change the actual way it plays by a little mecha mechanism inside. So it gives you a stronger strength bow or a little more bouncy bow. Um, this violin, as you can see, has got two knobs on it. They're for tone control, volume control. And it looks quite different. It's uh, a different shape at the top. Um, and these are also um, machine heads, so they, they don't move the same way as the acoustic. Um, it has got an acoustic sound. If I turn, turn all the sound down here... It's a bit tinny and a little bit nosy and, and nasally. Put it up and you'll notice I've got an AER um, amp there. It's also a wooden one. That's all about getting a warm, rich sound. Again, it's a bit of a, it's still acoustic, it's a little bit leaning towards an electric sound, but it can be amplified and it can work in the modern contemporary place. And then on my right here, this is a, a fully electric violin. You can really pump it up very loud in a rock and roll band. Um, and you can also play it with, with uh, different pedals. So. <laughs> So this is quite a different beast.